We're now just two weeks away from the general election, two weeks from tomorrow. Ballots have been mailed out for you to select the people you want to see in office. But what if you could pick more than one in the same race and rank your favorites? It's a process coming to Hawaii's special elections and making waves across the country. Sam Spangler has more in a story new at 9. Ranked choice voting is gaining steam nationwide in many city elections like New York and San Francisco, along with general and primaries in Alaska and Maine. The process won't be used in this year's general election here at home, but starting next year, the next time Hawaii has a special federal election or special election of vacant county council seats, this is how it'll work. You can rank each candidate on your ballot. In this four candidate example, that would be one through four. Votes are counted in rounds. The candidate with the fewest first place votes in each round is eliminated. If you voted for a candidate who is eliminated, then your second choice gets your vote. If that person is also eliminated, then it's your third choice, and so on. The process is repeated until two candidates remain, with the most votes winning. In special elections, you often get a long list of people who are running, and what it results in, if it's just the plurality winner, you can get a winner with, you know, 10% of the vote. But Senator Rhodes, who authored Hawaii's bill, thinks this is just a starting point. Supporters believe ranked choice voting in primary and general elections forces candidates to appeal to more voters. It's also supported by many third-party candidates who say it avoids voting between candidates you might not like. It keeps candidates from going to the extremes and just uh, catering to their base and, and trying to win elections just on the turnout from their base. Because they don't, in a ranked choice situation, you don't want to alienate everybody else because they still might vote for you on their second or third choice. But those who oppose it say it's too confusing. The people who vote don't know who their existing incumbent is in Congress or their existing incumbent in the state legislature. Nobody knows our name. So to expect you're going to be able to rank one, two, three, and four and know who those people are, it's impossible. The data is not there. This is a fad. It's gimmicky. It's cute. But it's not affected. The general election is on Tuesday, November 8th. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Now, according to the Office of the City Clerk, more than 41,000 mail in ballots have already been received on Oahu as of tonight. And a reminder the voter services centers across the state all open tomorrow. That's where you can go vote in person, register to vote, or ask for a replacement ballot if you made an error on your original one. They'll be open Mondays through Saturdays from 8 in the morning till 4.30 p.m. If you have not received a ballot so far, you are urged to call your county clerk's office right away to request one. The final day to vote is General Election Day, which is Tuesday, November the 8th. And that day, the ballot places will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m.